Good evening, Alexa Love Beauties and Flawless Men. Let's have a raw and uncut conversation. You know, if it wasn't for me asking God, uh, we wouldn't even be here. Like, we wouldn't even be here bringing information for beginners. Look, I can't even talk because it's that literal, like, you know how you'll always hear people say, you need to find yourself, you need to love yourself, you need to figure it out. And that's all I used to hear. And I used to get irritated because it's like, okay, bro, I'm trying to find myself. Every time I'm doing something, I'm doing it wrong or somebody judging me or it's the wrong thing or it's life threatening. And it's just like, okay, so I'm out here trying to find myself. We would literally think that finding ourselves and loving yourself is through other people. So what we do is because we're broken as a people. We're broken. We went through some things and we have not let those things go. We have not sit with those things. We haven't cried. We haven't mourned those things. We haven't grieved those things. We haven't felt that pain. Some of us, when you do not, this is why you still haven't found yourself. And what you do is we go out in the world and we're looking for a guy in all the wrong places. So that void, that emptiness, even if we're in a relationship, we can be around family. We can be making money. We can be healthy, happy, successful, skin glowing, all of the things. But something still be missing. And it be because we didn't get something from God. We haven't found ourselves in Christ. What that means is asking God who you are. What you like to do, what should you be eating, what should you be drinking, what should you be watching? Literally, when we talk about God, I know it be sounding so cliche, but life is this literal. When we talk about God, we literally talk about that, like literally everything. When we talk about God being the head of your house, you know, your protector, your provider, your counselor, your therapist, your guy, your parent, we literally mean it. Like, it's literal. He said, when your mother and your father forsake you, you can come to him. He's your parent. Like, that's literal. With the attitudes and everything. Like, it's so literal. You're not going to go out here. And this is where I was getting confused at. Going out here like, okay, a shield horse. So, we got that in common. We can be friends. Um, He look good. So, yeah, he can be my man or whatever. Well, he ain't even really got to be my man. We could just be messing around or whatever. Um, This job is cool or whatever. Like, I'm able to, you know, still do what I want to do on the side after I pay my bills. So, I guess I'll work here. Like, we be going out. And we literally build ourselves. And this is why we're still hurt. This is why we're still broken. This is why we're still caught in a strong delusion. This is why we're trying to force somebody to like us and we ain't even his type. <laughs> this is why we're trying to get somebody to be our friend and she ain't even, y'all ain't even got nothing in common. This is why, because we have yet to ask God. God literally, when he said he created everything, he literally created friends for you. People that's going to love you for who you are. You're not going to have to change the way you talk, change the way you walk. You're not going to have to change the way you breathe. You know, people be wanting you to do a lot. These are not our people. That's why. Alexis Love Beauty is a flawless man. It is literal when we talk about finding ourselves and loving ourselves. Finding yourself is asking God. When the Lord says, seek ye, he's talking about seek God. Seek him. Seek means to ask, to look around for, to do your extended research. To meditate on. Meditate means to think about all the time. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm not going to sleep until I figure this out. To keep thinking about it. To keep pressing the issue until you get the answer to seek him. To keep reading. And sometimes we don't get everything right then and there. But just to keep going. Like to seek his face. And he's going to pop up. Literally. And then when we talk about loving ourselves, loving ourselves is you loving the things that he said is good. The man know what he's doing. He say you supposed to be not wearing hair and makeup is good. We not wearing hair and makeup. It's just you will begin to love yourself, your real self. You'll begin to love what the Lord tell you. Like you probably play football, but that wasn't working. So now... You're like, okay, Lord, you know, I'm just trying to, you feel me? I'm trying to live this life down here, um, be the man I'm supposed to be. So, you know, what I'm supposed to do, you was a football player, but the Lord tell you basketball. 
And now you an NBA player because it's just like that's what you love to do and you're going to love it. When we talk about loving ourselves, we don't love the things that we create. We don't love the things that is forced on us. The true love, come on, Jesus, glory be to God. The true love comes, the self-love comes when we turn to our first love. Like the Lord said in Revelation, you have to return to your first love. The Lord is our first love. Like he said in Jeremiah, yeah, your mama was pregnant or whatever, and your dad, you know, they was intimate, but it's not the reason why we alive. It wasn't the reason that the doctor, you know, patted your butt that you was even breathing. The Lord told us in Jeremiah, the reason why we're here is because he was in that operating room and he breathed his breath into that tiny little body and that body became a living soul. He said, I knew you when you were in your mother's womb before you got in your mother's womb. So is that little, the Lord is going to tell you what it is that you're supposed to have, what it is that you're supposed to do, who it is that you're supposed to be around. And it's just going to flow. And that's what we call loving ourselves. You're going to love that. You're going to love that you don't have to explain yourself to nobody about why you're doing this, why you're doing that, because my family are those that does the will of my father. So now we're in equally yoked relationships with people that understand us. We're on the same, what we call an energy frequency. Like when we say those words now i'm starting to understand them too like um vibrations and different things like that that's because it's referring to power we think the same so somebody say you know low vibration which we shouldn't be comparing ourselves to people because we've been low vibrating too still probably do if you want if you want to be real everybody be human some everybody be low vibrating every now and again you know what i'm saying you you looking good you turning up and then behind the scenes you you smashing a little bit more than you should so we still human and we all fall short of the glory but Somebody could not be equally up to with you to where they could throw you off. And that's not what we want. So you will connect more. You will have a better understanding of the people that is supposed to be in your life. And you will love yourself just as much as they will love you. So Alexis Love Beauty and Flawless Man, do your extended research spiritually because these things can't come from Google. There is certain words and certain terms and things that we're trying to figure out that we can't figure out we can't look it up on google somebody can't just give us all of the tips and the tools about it it's an experience it's all an experience and it's really on you just if you want to go through that experience a lot of people really don't want to go through that experience because it's just we've been so used to being caught in a strong delusion but you know god ain't for the faint at heart he's really not he's not and like I said, he knows everything about you, your little attitude. He know everything about you, but he's a sweetheart. He continues to work with us and have compassion towards us because he wants us to do the right thing because we're still looking at it physical. But at the end of the day, the spirit of the flesh is lusting after the, the fruit of the spirit. I think I said that a little backward. And the fruit of the spirit is lusting after the fruit of the flesh. It's a spiritual warfare. So on the outside, we be thinking we tripping, but God is trying to take his time with us so we can get where we need to go in the physical. And then we leave here in the spiritual. Everything is already prepared. Come on, Jesus. He said it's already prepared. So ask the Lord who you are, what it is you're supposed to be doing, how it is that you're supposed to look, live, feel, think, breathe, <laughs> operate in his life. And he'll do just that. And then this loving yourself and self-love and finding yourself, I promise you, it's going to be getting, it's going to be just so much easier. It's going to make a lot of sense. We can't look everything up. It's an experience. I love you and God bless you.